Well, welcome to the <laughs> new book said. Telford back in action after 10 days. It seems uh, an age ago since Telford managed to get that one all draw away against Alfreton. As a reward for his equaliser, Chris Sharp starts for Telford this evening. They're against an absolute side down in 22nd place in the conference, but they do have plenty of really good players in their side, including Moses Asakodi and Nathan Elder. So, the referee about to get us underway. We're live here on BBC Radio Shropshire. The referee is Ben Toner. Telford will be kicking from our left to right. Telford playing in their white shirts, black shorts and black socks. And Ebsleet playing in their red shirts, white shorts and red socks. Telford on the attack, down the left. Jordan Rose picks out centre me. Taken out wide by Steve Leslie down the left wing. Telford on the charge here. Back to Will Salmon, and he's crossed straight into the hands of the uh, goalie. He catches it comfortably. Telford, with the likes of Sharp and Centre take it in turns in, in dropping off the centre backs, can, could well cause some problems. Here is Chris Sharp, a good ball again from left to right. Sharp in towards the Ebsley penalty area, and he'll keep it in play on that left wing. Knocks it back to Leslie. Good ball in, and a header, and an early goal, Steve Jones. Well, a lovely ball whipped in by Steve Leslie. It was all too easy for Telford. Steve Jones popped up on the far post, directed his header in. He's Telford's leading scorer, and it's a dream start. Five and a half minutes gone. Telford lead by a goal to nil. Well, a dream start for AFC Telford United and their leading scorer, Steve Jones, who, for me, he just gets better and better since joining for uh, Telford. And uh, what a start it is for them. Jones is the leading scorer for the Bucks. Now, what reply will Ebsley have? It's whipped into the area. Another chance! And an equaliser at the other end. It's Nathan Elder. It's carbon copy of the goal, but Telford scored. Whipped in from the left-hand side by Joe Howe, the left-back who was granted too much room. It was an early ball in, Elder on that far post, and now that's his eighth goal of the season. Carbon copy, Steve, of the goal that Telford have just scored, and now it's one all. Sharp gets himself into room on the right, shoots, saves, not properly, comes back out to Leslie, kicked behind by Adda. Telford have a corner on their right, this near right-hand side. Good shot by Sharp. The save from Preston Edwards, while he wasn't convincing, he parried it away. Here's Howe down the left, gets his cross in. Ryan uh, Young catches it well. The Telford goalie. The Bucks have lost. Uh, looking at their uh, their record here, uh, Steve, it hasn't been great, has it, for uh, Telford? Losing too many games, losing three. They'd like to check that. Here's a chance of the other end, though. Sent to me through. Good save by Edwards. It was Sharp who back it into the path of sent to me. And it was all a bit too easy for Telford there, opening up the absolute defence yet again. Here they come again. Jones in past Howe. Jones one on one with the keeper. The keeper comes off his line, but Jones scores. Lifts it over Preston Edwards. Howe was caught backtracking. A good ball down the right. Jones bombed diagonally into the area early on to uh, make a run against the keeper. Waited for Esther Edwards to uh, try and come off his line to narrow that angle. But a great finish by Jones, his second of the night. Telford lead by two goals to one. The referee's just about ready then. Live coverage here on BBC. Radio shops here on DAB and online. We welcome our listeners uh, from uh, Kent as well, the Ebsleet fans tuning in wherever you are listening, whoever you follow. It's a pleasure to have your company. Telford 2, Ebsleet 1, quite a tight game. It could go either way, but Telford are leading by two goals to one. An early ball forward by Will Salmon looking for Chris Sharp. Cut out by... Uh, the Ebsleet man hints that they've got problems with their pitch because uh, I think a game against Wrexham was called off. Now, here's Ember Madam gets past Rose. Good ball pulled back. Here's Carew inside the area. Six yards out. Telford close him out here. Carew's blocked off and now he's looking for company. They're pilled for a penalty. They're going to get it. Oh, well, what a...
what a terrible mistake by Telford. A push on Carew, who is going nowhere, running away from goal. In order to take it, he could move on to eight set goals. He steps forward against Young, sends him the wrong way, and Ebsley equalise. It's Telford two, Ebsley two. And the Telford manager, Andy Sinton, standing there, motionless, because he knows that two mistakes by Telford have allowed Ebsley to stay in this game. Ebsley have responded well on two occasions going behind and uh, for me well as it stands at the moment are uh, looking the better team they look more comfortable in possession look more dangerous going forward they have it on the left whipped into the Telford penalty area Elder's header wide good chance for Nathan Elder to get his hat trick but it's still to all Jones takes on Source. Good one too with Leslie. Jones in towards the near post. They're dropping off him. Pulls it back. Maybe a chance here. Flashed over by Luke Cubbins, left footed. It goes up into the gods. And Luke Cubbins looks up there as well. It's a nightmare shot, which really he should have buried. It's still to all. Under 20 minutes left to go. It's still level at Telford 2, Epsley 2. At Southport 1, Wrexham. Four now the scoreline at Hague Avenue. Southport had taken an early lead in that game. At the other end, here's Spray through on goal. Appeals of a penalty. Given! It's been given a foul on Chris Sharp. Will they yet surround the referee here? One minute left to go. Steve Jones, a chance to score a hat trick. He's up against Preston Edwards. Jones steps forward and it's saved back in and it's gone wide by trainer it's two all oh well on the follow-up Telford really should have scored through Phil trainer but Jones's penalty saved on the verge of a hat trick Liam Dace we look over he's delighted and he'll probably think that it's justice but it's what his side deserves I think he will uh, blow when Preston Edwards kicks this goal kick forward Absolutely worth a point for me, Nick, over the course of the 90 minutes, but if you were going to sum it up from Telford's point of view, uh, two words for me, missed opportunity. Missed opportunities, indeed. There we go, full-time. Both managers shake hands, and uh, there we go. So it's finished two all. I had to score two goals. Um, then I gave, I gave a Stuart penalty away to make it two all, and then I should, I should have buried the penalty, which is... Disappointing, feels like a defeat really, so I think we all feel a bit deflated because um, so, it, um, it was a three-pointer. And like you say, the penalty at the very end, but to credit to the goalkeeper, he made a good save. It was kind of, you know, and, and obviously disappointing, but you know, good save and, and you move on to next week, but scoring goals and doing well. Yeah, I've took penalties before and scored and uh, I felt confident, uh, what, what a the trick and um, Obviously, it's disappointing. I feel like you, you've let the, the teammates and the manager and the fans down, but hopefully um, on Saturday we can we can get a win and get some more goals. And you've been in good goal-scoring form of late. You know, if you contribute on a regular basis, and you must be pleased with that. Yeah, I'm pleased. Um, it'd be more pleasing if uh, we got the three points. I think we've we've drawn the last four or something like that. Um, but um, we, we desperately need to, to get three points on, on the board. And tonight was was a missed chance.